Hello crafters, this is Gareth from G's Creation and welcome to the introduction of the AC, ATCDs Artist Trading Compact Discs Now I was thrilled to see the uh, enthusiasm by so many of you when I posted um, some of the revamp, revamped, upcycled um, CDs that I painted and decorated uh, this, this is the first one that I've done the other, oh, there's one downstairs so I can't show it to you, it's on display in the living room. Then you got this one, oh dear, as I've called it. And you have this one, which is thanks so much. So it's a sewing themed one, and they're all on the back of um, CDs or DVDs. I have created a group on Facebook, it's called ATCD, and it's got the name um, Artist Trading Compact Discs. It's a closed group, so please feel free to request to join and we'll add you. Um, and then you can start creating your own swaps and things. So I'm just going to show you how I've done um, the painted ones. Now I've just gessoed this with just normal gessoed. I've used a sponge dabber to get the the effect. You see how it's all bubbly? Because I quite like that effect when I'm painting for some reason. I'm not too sure why. Um, obviously we all know how they start off. So here's a few that I've got that I'm going to use at some point but you can use anything it doesn't matter if they're scratched on the back even even better otherwise we'd just be throwing them away so I will recommend that you use a stays on um, ink pad if you are going to be using paints and things on them because it's not going to go away it's going to stay on so I've got this this um, stamp set this stamp which is kind of wreaths from the, uh, the you know the, se the seashore so I'm going to do like a, s um, a seaside themed one or a beach themed one not sure how it's going to turn out but I'm going to do it all on camera with you so like I said I've pre gessoed this one so all I do is give it a coat of gesso now I don't mind the fact that it's not perfectly stamped transferred because I'm going to be incorporating browns and greens into that so that's fine I don't mind that let me just quickly clean off the, uh, the stamp because obviously it stays on ink and I don't want it sorry about the sound I don't want it damaging my my stamp again I apologize for the sound Right, let's take you off and put you to one side. Now I've been using my Tim Holtz dis, um, Distress Pens to um, paint with basically. And I use a clean um, ink uh, paint tray and I just get the thicker end, the brush end. I basically kind of brush it into it and then spray it with water. And that's what I'm gonna do with this one. So I'm gonna add a bit of some browns and greens into this but I'm going to do that directly onto the ATC ATCD I'm so used to saying ATCs because as you know I love making those too so this is my latest my latest craze it's great fun I'm just going to do just going to put some colour in some areas and I've got a little spray bottle which I use so I'm going to use a very fine tip brush and paint in the brown I will incorporate other colors into this different tones of brown it's quite handy to have a bit of tissue if you are going to be using um, your Tim Holtz because you can wipe off the brush this uh, the brown I just used was vintage photo this one is crushed olive so again I'm going to incorporate some different tones get my brush and then just paint the paint the different tones into it okay 
let's put in some of the lighter green the green I just used was mowed lawn I'm just going to blend them all together don't know why I'm going in that direction This is why this part is important to use the uh, stays on, because obviously, obviously, if you used a water-soluble ink pad, it would the, the color would come off. Now, in the background, I have a bird stamp which I want to use, and as you know, I my Tim Holtz flying flock of birds broke. I found this one on Marie Wyatt's uh, Facebook store. I'll, I'll put a link to her store below. And I thought, yes, I'm going to have that. And it's got different birds. I'm going to use some of this. Obviously, I don't, I don't want them all because I want them kind of coming off, off the pay, off the a a ATCD like that. So that's what I'm going to do. And again, I'm going to use the, the stays on. Love the smell of that stays on ink. Love it, love it, love it. And as before, I'm not bothered if it doesn't transfer over perfectly. Which that one didn't do too bad. is the um do, 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 what is this one this is picket fence just gonna add touches of white into the into the flying birds and again go back to the water tumbled grass right now I want to do almost like a sunset so I'm going to choose the oranges and the yellows that I have. Okay, and this is where this will come in handy because obviously I need to start off with the, the darker colour which is fired brick. spray top back on Next red we'll use will be this one, and this is, I think this is the, oh, this is barn door. I'm 
Now I slightly go over the previous colour just to get them to blend a little. This one I'm going to be using is Ripe Crimson. It's more of an orange tone. Again, go into the previous color slightly. bird when I wasn't meant to. Now this one is a spiced marmalade. Can go go through the previous one. Blend them out a bit. What I also do is I tend to dab them over as well because it helps to blend the two colours together. Okay, so this one is Wild Honey. And the final colour I'm using is mustard seed. And again, dabbing off the excess. This is the black soot. I'm just going to go over the the birds just to get them a bit more definition. That's how it's looking so far. And now I'm going to go back to the very first one and then come in and do another coat just to sharpen it up slightly. And then the second one and do the same thing. Third one, do the same thing. Just to give it a bit of definition of clouds and things, I'm just going to overlay some of the other colours through it and using the tissue to dab it off. There we go. I love the texture you get in the in the background with all of them. I've used. He's done that with all of them. With these, with these, with the first three or four I done, I used a bigger circle punch. With this one, I've just used a one-inch circle, uh, circle punch in the center to to cover up the hole. I'm just going to put some. Uh, just going to use the white, which is the picket fence. Something. That's it. 
there's a bit of black on my on the nib just to run some white through it that slight white highlight right with all the other ones I've added a bit of um, a bit of bling so how can where can I add the bling I think I might add some of the color onto the onto the tips of the flowers just to give them a bit of diff definition what color shall I use Let's go for these pink, these pink pearl adhesive gems. Get out my good old trusted art glitter glue. decided I was going to do what May May did and um, use my refill bottle instead of using the the little one. Right, I'll take these off. Pop you down. Oops. Let's turn you around. was not quite ready come off that's it how do I get more of this gunk to come out There we go. Come here. Come here. Sometimes the adhesive on the back of these bling is really, really strong, and other times it doesn't work at all. Okay. Come here, you little one. Okay. So I'm just going to let that dry. And then there'll be little pink blossoms. So I'm going to add some green to the underneath. out and there we have it that's how I've been creating these really really nice pieces of art I really enjoy making them so please come on over to the group it is ATCD um, so that's artist trading compact discs be you know be lovely to have you and then get yourself set up on some swaps with some other members thank you very much i will see you again soon take care now